Hola everyone, and welcome back to Day Z. But this time, I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into some hidden locations in my favorite map, the Arial. Now, if you're reading this, I definitely have passed away, but I will pass on these secret locations. Starting off with number one. This spot is highly low key. No one really knows about this spot located near Smallville, but it's a cave. A cave built for a solo. Look how many doors you can stack up just before even reaching your main core loop. Leaving this base the ultimate base for a solo. Just picture all the things you can do here. This cave is massive and is one of the easiest hidden locations to fortify. This location is right here. It's kinda located near Oceanville. South of it is Smallville, but just north of it is the next base. So catch along fast, cause the second base right here is another low key banger that no one even knows about. This spot I haven't seen really get built in, but I definitely want to try to build here. And this spot is definitely not like the first. This one is bigger. One that is possibly low key the best one. These caves require less resources than any other structure because all you really have to do is slap down doors with no walls. Hence, you have the whole cave surrounding you. But these tunnels lead on forever. Well, at least that's what it feels like. But let me take you down and through this tour. Yep, that's it. Nah, I'm just playing. To the right and to the left. But to the right is where you want to go. There is more passageway into bigger corridors and in to the ultimate corridor. Now just picture yourself building in here and all the doors you can slap down before reaching to the back and very last secured corridor which I'm bringing to you right now. This corridor is probably where you want to have all your main loot because you could slap down about a thousand doors before even getting here. Leaving this second location one of the best. But I'll let you decide. And while you see these locations I want you to think in your head where would you like me to build? Pick a location out of the ones I showed you. If you can just comment down below where you want me to build. And I'll make sure to make it happen. But anywho, here comes to our third spot. The third spot is so secretive people really don't even know what's under this warehouse. But this warehouse has to be one of the best underground base locations you can have in Deer Isle. This is what it looks like in the outside. But... It's not what outside that matters, it's what's in here that really matters down these steps as you are about to reach a whole different world underground. This is good for a medium sized clan and what really makes this underground structure so good is cause people don't really know what's under here and with the location of this underground structure being kind of near the center of the map it makes it even 20 times better. Since you're kind of located near all the hot spots. And what makes this underground structure so different from the others is that you actually can use the warehouse right above to store your vehicles. A nice safe way to make sure that your cars are safe. I'd say a good six man can live here peacefully, stacking this base up to the brim. Anywho, that's it for this third spot. Remember it, because this warehouse is the one of the best. Now here to the fourth spot. Near Old Town, we have a spot that no one ever, ever really builds in. If it's located in an unmarked town, but one giveaway that can give you this location would be this crane. You have to find this crane, because right below it is these stairs. And when you go in these stairs, well, I'll just let you see from there. Here's another spot great for a solo. And just northeast of this spot is actually another. Another cave spot, a humongous cave, one of the biggest caves yet. And this one is located kinda near Waterboro, or I guess you could say 
mountain though as well but if you can just try to maybe just follow this ravine right over here you'll be able to see it but i'll give you also a landmark because if you see these planes and this ravine you know you're in the right location because literally right below to the right is the cave can you see it well let me bring you just a tad bit closer because it's actually through those bushes these bushes are vital so make sure you don't cut them down as they hide the entrance but as we get closer and closer you're gonna get revealed to a whole bigger perspective of how these caves can really really be massive you can fit a whole chopper in here and then some but this base location is definitely best for those who have numbers because it will be harder to fortify hence why it's on our fifth spot on the list but man this is such a beautiful location and i know you're thinking how can the fifth spot get any better well the six spots here aka the back cave can kind of prove to you that there is bigger and it's right above barrel fall or baron fall anywho look for that landmark because you want to go up the river because up the river is the cave and inside this massive monstrosity of a cave well here lies the longest one and also possibly the biggest hole and with just the right pilot you can be able to fly through this tunnel and even park your own this tunnel is literally massive so massive i have to speed on through it due to the hole being so massive yeah. but you see here's the thing about this cave because if you push along further full speed ahead you're gonna be greeted with the best view of them all this big lake all to yourself anywho let's get to our seventh spot which is also a banger and maybe people recognize this one this one is located right next to Walderboro actually I think it's in the same town when you get to the Walderboro town you're gonna have to look for this street here this cul-de-sac surrounded by houses because right behind it lies the cave right where this white tree is so keep this white tree in mind and use it as a reference and guidance into the base because man this one is more hidden than the rest but this is also massive because inside this freaking cave is like a damn underworld that no one has ever seen before it is beautiful not only do you have water you have a couple of entrances inside the base but when you get in there is when you're gonna see the massive space the space that you may be big for anyone to inhabit it but man is it unique i feel like this cave has more than what meets the eye but i also feel like the creator of this map didn't finish and all these hidden locations have something to do with this map and it's our job to figure it out anywho let's not get sidetracked and experience this cave and I'll let you kind of explore more about it. Man, there's so many building ideas you can do here. With so many limitless possibilities. Just make sure you don't forget where this is, because it is hard to find. Let's get to our 7th spot. A spot that I haven't really seen any creatures really building, but I wish I could see more of. Because this spot is located near the racing ring, or KMUC. It is very hidden, 
possibly the most hidden one in this video. This seventh location kinda trumps all the other locations for one key feature and that is its ladder. This ladder can be used as the best countermeasure to a raid that well, can possibly make your base unraidable if you're online of course. The raiders would have to go down the ladder and if you can secure it well let's just say the only point that you have to defend is the raiders coming down the ladder and it's all gg's from there but let's get out of here to go to our eighth spot spot that i loved and hold dear to me because i did build in this one before and it is the best spot for a solo i know the first ones i show you were great but this one well, this one definitely holds a little piece in my heart because I had memories in this one. But if you just follow this road right where Bayville is, it can lead you right to where the cave is. Right where this drug farm once stood when it was operational. This is another location I don't really see people building because, well, they don't really know about it. You have to find this field right here. Because right past this field, beyond the trees and the frogs, lies one of the best caves for a solo. If you build within these structures, people are not gonna even know that there is even a base here. But as you can see, it is beautiful. The perfect size for a solo. And it is very, very, very well hidden. Now, my biggest question is, what's your favorite spot? If you can't decide on where I should build, let me know what your favorite spot is out of all the spots I just showed you. Because all these locations are unique in Deer Isle and possibly makes Deer Isle one of the best maps out there as there are many, many hidden secrets all around. So I hope you have liked what I've just showed you and my hidden treasures of my adventures. As Deer Isle is the most unique map in existence of Daisy, or at least that's what I feel like because it is my favorite as all these unique locations can lead to one of the best base builds you can ever see in Daisy. It's all about location 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 at the end of the day or at least when it comes to base building but when it comes to adventuring and exploring new lands that you have never seen before Deer Isle has got it at the bag. There are so many hidden secrets we don't know about in this map and so many hidden treasures that we haven't got into. Well, I hope that you can possibly figure out the whole mystery of Deer Isle and why all these hidden artifacts are located in one map or why this temple exists. Anyway, these are all questions that need to be answered. Survivors like me and you. The ones that go out there and adventuring these lands. Anywho, I hope you can enjoy all these base locations I gave to you. As they are the most hidden in Deer Isle. But guess what? What if I told you there is more? More than one meets the eye to this map. And I will be willing to show you as long as you like the video and subscribe. And remember, comment where you want me to build next. Anywho, enjoy.